Hey everyone, Sterling here. We're gonna be going over the pound real quick. Uh, I'm taking a, an entry short in the pound, and uh, I, I ended up taking this one from 92. It's it's about five pips down from that point right now. Uh, but the, I wanted to go over why I was taking it. It's roughly, um, you know, roughly in the same spot here, and, and so I want to go over the illustration as we're as we're sitting here uh, at at essentially the entry point and go over why I'm taking it. Now we went, we may get one more push against this uh, into the the one spot 6200 barrier. That's all right with me. The reason I'm taking it now is because I just don't know if we're going to get that push. We've had three cycles up, and and we're getting into the area where we're getting into roughly, um, you know, close to to 90 pips here, about 82 pips. That's why I say we may may push a a little bit more into 6200, complete a full 90 pip push against it. But we've seen a very tight range lately, so uh, not really guaranteeing that push against it, which is why I want to take it from this point. So let's go over why why exactly I am taking it from here. So when we look at this thing, we were talking about this last night in the daily market review, uh, the members review, and, and it looks like on the hourly hourly push, we've had a first push down, accumulation, second push down, accumulation, third push down. So in the in the market review last night, I was mentioning a couple points. I was mentioning you know, that obviously the Asian lows for a possible bottoming formation or stop run did end up giving a bottoming formation. I personally missed that because, at, number one, I was sleeping. Number two, I had a pending order sitting uh, just above 6,100, an expectation of a push into 6,100, uh, a, a, a false push into 6,100, ending that. So I did not catch that move up, unfortunately. If you, anybody caught that bottoming formation, congrats on that one. That was a nice trade. But looking at these highs here, we're, we're into the average daily range. We're getting into yesterday's high. Um, we've had three intraday cycles up, first push up, second push up, third push up. How far does smart money tend to drive the price when they make a push? Well, they tend to drive at 90 pips. We're right at 82. That's why I say they may push it a bit deeper. For me, this is enough to take the trade uh, because I, I believe with a 20 pip stop, there's at least a 2 to 1 risk reward on this. Now, the what I'm thinking here, and then my bias still is a little bit bearish because of what we're seeing in the eurozone, normally don't talk about fundamentals too much because uh, you know we talk about what's what's tradable, what's tradable at face value. And fundamentals leave a lot to interpretation, but right now there's a heavy bias short on the euro because of the uncertainty. And so when I see this pullback on the pound, this deeper pullback, uh, to me that that tells me even if we are going to start to cycle one cycle up, second cycle up, third cycle up, you know, starting to make that that reverse cycle. What I'm thinking is that we're at least going to see a deeper pullback, which is going to offer at least two to one on this position. So that's why I'm taking it here. That's why I believe an entry at 92 puts a stop at still puts a stop at 12, which protects me from a stop run of 6200. It's just uh, again hitting the average daily range, three cycles against you know three cycles intraday cycles, giving me a sign that it's possibly reversing, seeing a smaller topping formation. We've seen it move roughly 90 pips. We're getting into yesterday's high. We're getting into a psychological barrier. To me, they've made that push up. They've completed their push for the day. And uh, we got two options. One is this is the first push up, and they're going to see two more to the upside. Or the second option is this is a false push or a essentially resetting of their position before the next three cycles down. Either way, either one of those possibilities, we're going to say, see an end of the day pullback. It's going to pull back off of these highs at the end of the day. And so I'm expecting this to be the, the end of uh, the push for the day at the very least, and we'll determine how long we can hold this as time progresses, and that's what we'll discuss a bit more uh, as we move on. If we close right here near the highs, I'm going to be a bit concerned that we're going to see a stop run down out of Asia for the second push up. If we make a deeper pullback, uh, I'll be a bit more comfortable with this, and, and that's what we'll discuss as time goes on. So I'll be back uh, later on tonight, and we will go over this trade as it progresses. All right, I'll be closing this pound trade from here. We're at uh, one spot. 6130 uh, on the pound. Made a nice push down last night, and as you look at the hourly chart, uh, is, as far as what we're going to see beyond this point is, is up in the air, and that's that's where when we're sitting in sitting at the point where after the third push down has completed itself, although you know I wasn't too fond of that that push up when we saw three intraday cycles, I thought at least we'd see somewhat of an intraday move. As we come back into those lows, the question of, of whether we're gonna gonna hold and truly bounce for a, a reversal cycle to the upside, or whether we're gonna break the lows, it is not really a, a high probability um, setup in my opinion. And that's you know therefore I'd rather take uh, roughly three to one on this trade, and ended up just getting out of out of the position. So taking an, an exit, it was was getting out at 34 on this one. It was uh, actually closer to 35, 34 and, and six tenths, but. Uh, 
just shy of uh, three to one in that trade, and we may see further downside. But again, the uh, the reason I'm getting out at this point is because as we approach those lows, as we often say in, in the reviews, is when we're sitting in level three type accumulation, the safest trade is taking a uh, taking a topping formation or a bottoming formation or a stop run at the the range higher or low as you're sitting in that accumulation period. Notice these cum accumulation periods that separate. Uh, separate the first push down from the second and the third push down, you get a lot of tests of that range. You get a lot of stop runs at the range high, stop run of the range low, stop run of the range high here, stop run of the range low here. So that multiple back and forth stop run of the range uh, is what makes me get a little bit leery when I come into the pound and I see a nice bottoming formation here and the, and the candle's confirming that. I just... Uh, You'd rather play it safe than sorry and, and take the profit on this trade. So I uh, hope this was uh, informational as far as as far as far looking at taking a New York reversal trade. Uh, this was a little bit later in the day, but th the reason for the trade, again, was the fact that we had three cycles of the upside. It was moving at least 90 pips, was hitting, hitting the average daily range, hitting the previous day's high. So at the very least, that was going to give us some reversal. It uh, just ended up giving us a bit more and... and Actually, as, as time progressed, came back, came up and gave somewhat of a, a stop run here, a, sh a smaller stop run, which gave me more confidence to hold that through Asia. So it was a nice trade overall, and uh, I will see you guys with the next one.